we are not a naturally monogamous species. We are a pair bonding species. But there's social monogamy, which is the pair bond, and there's sexual monogamy, which is never touching anybody ever again with your genitals. And we are not. We've never split monogamous. that before. No, we need to split it. We all of these birds we used to look to and think, why can't we be monogamous like birds? Like the eagles and the yeah, certain mm -hmm. geese and little birds that would mate, and they would mate for life, and would and we would measure our failure as humans to live up to the standards set by these damn birds. Well, along comes genetic testing and we find out that these birds are screwing around on each other constantly. Mm -hmm. That they are socially monogamous, pair bonded, but they're not sexually monogamous. No primates with testicles our size are, are monogamous, sexually monogamous. Uh, women, um, hidden menses. I'm not saying all this to say that people shouldn't uh, go for monogamy if monogamy is something that they want. I'm not saying this to argue that people who made a monogamous commitment have license to violate that monogamous right. commitment. And of course, uh, that's what headlines would do when they hear a phrase that comes right. out of your mouth. Right. And they do that. Right. What I'm saying is uh, we are not naturally monogamous. It is a difficult struggle for us. Chris Ryan, a uh, sex writer, uh, in his book Sex at Dawn, you just know all these sex writers. Well, I do. I read them all. He points out that, you know, all these cultures, you know, the, the sky religions, death penalty for adultery. While at the same time, we run around arguing that monogamy comes naturally to us as a species. Well, no other species has to be threatened with death to do that which comes naturally to it. We don't point guns at dolphins and say swim, right? But we point guns at each other and say don't cheat because monogamy comes naturally to us. And so I'm not, my argument then isn't, you shouldn't have it, you shouldn't do it. My argument is we should be a little compassionate and understanding about the fact that monogamy is a struggle. That a monogamous, what we said, what we believe, what we're told as children, is one day you will grow up and fall in love with someone and you will make a monogamous commitment to them and that means you're in love with them. And when you're in love, you won't want to have sex with other people. And the truth is if you make a monogamous commitment to someone you love, you will still want to have sex with other people. You will refrain from it. It will be difficult. And so perhaps we need to look at people who've been in 50-year marriages and only cheated on each other once or twice and say they were good at monogamy. Not bad at it, good at it. And give them some credit for having done this thing that was difficult and unnatural as a token of their love and affection and commitment. Almost completely successfully. It's like once somebody standing on one foot for 50 years, that's kind of amazing. If they touched the ground two or three times to get their balance, we wouldn't go, they sucked at standing on their foot for 50 years on one foot.